Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're back taking a look at the Lenovo ThinkStation P520. Let's take a look inside. If you want to check out my video from last year covering the P520, I go over a lot of its features and a lot of things that I'm not going to be covering in this video today. For this video, we're just focusing on the hardware we have installed and the benchmarks that follow. This is the piece I was most excited about testing. It's a NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000. More about that in a second. So underneath this tower cooler, we have an Intel Xeon W-2225 CPU with four cores and eight threads. So a lower core and thread count, but a pretty good base frequency and turbo frequency. We'll see how well this performs with that GPU. And to accompany that, we have four of these RAM sticks. SK Hynix 16 GB 3200 MHz ECC memory and that's bringing us to a total of 64 GB and it's important to keep in mind that the CPU will limit the speeds to 2993 MHz. This is a 690 watt Delta Electronics 80 plus platinum power supply and the SSD I have installed underneath this heatsink is a Timetech MS10 1 TB PCIe 3x4 NVMe solid state drive with Windows 11 Pro installed. So that brings us back to the GPU. Let's get a better look at it. And here's a better look, the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000 graphics card with a familiar silver, green, and black color scheme. Pretty fancy. This GPU was pretty clean when I got it, but I still did a quick service and I applied a new Thermalrite Helios V2 thermal pad to the GPU die. So I'm pretty excited to test out this GPU. It's my first time doing it. Not only does it have eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, which is a nice departure from the previous Quadros I've tested, which only had GDDR5. But as we know, with the RTX branding, we're going to have access to ray tracing. So I'll be testing that out with games. And I'm planning on a range of 1080p and 1440p, depending on the title. I'll also be doing video rendering, video encoding, and large language model tests with Olama AI. We'll be testing out if this RTX 4000 is a good workstation GPU in 2025, and can it also play some games, making it a more well-rounded experience and a well-rounded PC. So if you're using a combo like this in 2025, let us know in the comments below. If you're planning on using something like this, definitely leave a comment as well. And hopefully myself and the tech community can reach out and offer some advice. Or maybe you can give some advice to me. I definitely don't know everything. My one concern is how well this will perform with a four core, eight thread CPU. It'd be really nice to test out something like a six core, 12 thread or a core 16 thread, but they get pretty expensive. And it's nice to consider the price to performance value with something like this. Still, from my preliminary tests, everything ran really smooth. The games were actually pretty nice. So I have high expectations. Let's find out together. Thanks a lot for checking out my video and I hope you have a great day.